I would like to welcome you to our latest webinar on changing face for appraisals. This webinar will provide you with the opportunity to reflect on the key areas being faced in schools and colleges regarding supporting staff and teaching and provide you with some tips and solutions. Presenting today's webinar is myself, Andy Goodeve and Becky Howitt. We both have a background in education from a teaching and a learning perspective. A lot has happened in appraisals since the introduction of performance management as part of the Education Act in 2002. Firstly, they were used as a tool to hold teachers to account. This evolved with performance related pay driven by measurable numerical percentage objectives and a high stakes culture. Students seem to become more data, a percentage point, rather than having a personality. Those in education understand student performance is based on many variables, many not measurable, and many out of the teacher's control. For example, a person's health or their home environment. This performance measure has led to an undermining of teacher morale and motivation. Time to rethink appraisals. Many educational organisations have been rethinking and transforming appraisals from an accountable to a more developmental process. This shift in culture requires staff to have a clear understanding of what good quality looks like. Setting high expectations and appraisal having greater emphasis on coaching and professional dialogue. This shift encourages professional responsibility, accountability and a willingness to contribute to the whole school. Rethinking will mean colleagues will feel more empowered to engage and be inspired in the appraisal process. A focus on reflection, the strengths, the areas for improvement and aspirations where everyone is striving to improve. How to change appraisals? Professional discussions or check-ins become more regular and ongoing. There's no longer a tick box exercise, a target setting, mid-year review and the end of year evaluation. These discussions focus on how and why classroom learning is progressing, identifying potential barriers of learning, as well as what has happened to teachers themselves. <coughs> Line managers, mentors and appraisers empower staff by creating a climate of trust and support. They listen, probe, ask pertinent questions and allow time to reflect. They provide meaningful support and next steps of improvement. Formal lesson observations are mostly be replaced by frequent, short lesson drop-ins. These create a more accurate picture and give typicality of performance over time. Drop-ins are conducted not just by leadership, but also by their peers. This all adds to getting a clear understanding of teaching and learning, an understanding of where we are now and what we need to do to improve. Professional development is at the core of improvement. CPD is relevant to their needs. They're given time to reflect and evaluate, and also importantly, how to disseminate to others. Appraisal conversations focus on improving and developing, encouraging the individual to actively participate in establishing an understanding of their strengths and development. I will now pass you on to Becky to explain how school IP functionality can help you develop your chosen appraisal process. Thank you Andy, thanks for that. Um, so, so how can school IP help with these processes? Well we'll look at the end game first and the big question here is what do we want to achieve? Well we want the aim is, is for colleagues to feel empowered and um, we want them to engage and we want them to be inspired in the appraisal process. So how do we actually do this using the school IP tools? Well, <clears throat> they can do this by several different ways. One of them is, is that you can tinker around with the settings in school IP to allow staff to actually set their own performance management objectives and actions. The second way is to encourage a whole raft of self-reflection throughout the school and school IP supports this superbly by the use of blogs, video analysis, forms and lesson drop-ins, areas for development, CPD requests and regular check-ins. 